Welcome to Episode 5 of my Special Ops Challenge Guide series. Today's episode covers a brand new challenge that was just discovered. In fact, as far as I know, no one discovered this challenge prior to this video. After you hear what the challenge is, you'll understand why it was so well hidden. This challenge is the last piece of the puzzle that's required for the Special Ops Master Calling Card. There's quite a few people out there that have 11 out of 12 challenges completed, and thus they were desperately seeking out this last one. So before I begin, I've got to give credit to the person who actually discovered this. His name is Marvel4. He's what people often refer to as a code digger. He can look in the game files and pull out all kinds of information. Since I was running out of ideas as to what this challenge just could be, I eventually approached him. He kindly looked up the missing piece and he sent me it. I'm going to leave a link to his donation page in the description. And by the way, he's also the reason people are aware of all the gun stats. Those are his handiwork as well. He's a true asset to the Call of Duty community. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to three of my fellow YouTubers for providing me some footage for this video. A man named Star, the voice of Cod, and Raging Brainer. You can find a link to all three of their channels in the description. I highly encourage you to scope them out. So the challenge at hand. To fully understand this challenge, we have to go back in time for a Call of Duty Challenge Help history lesson. So in Call of Duty Ghosts, there was an obscure challenge called Clueless. Kill 200 enemies with a Kimbo plus ACOG 44 Magnums. I actually did a guide on this very challenge. The Magnums themselves were pretty garbage. But if you akimboed them, they'd lose almost all their range, making them extremely hard to use, much less get 200 kills with. The challenge was more or less a joke, but it actually taught good discipline, such as to play cautious and not run headstrong into a fight. Now of course, the challenge was made a bit easier considering you could use the riot shield with the portable radar to help you out. Once you completed the challenge, you got the patch, as calling cards were called in that game, that was called, I have no idea what I'm doing. It depicted a dog wearing those 3D sunglasses that Biff's gang member in Back to the Future War. It was actually a very sought after patch. So how does this relate to Infinite Warfare, and more importantly, the Special Ops challenges? I was actually going to lie to everyone and say that my three-year-old accidentally discovered this challenge. He actually does play the game, and he's pretty decent at it. I'll put a video of him playing after the outro if you want to see it. But I'll be damned if he doesn't make the worst class setups I've ever seen. He makes these absurd Frankenstein-like classes, with all sorts of odd combinations merged into one. And that's more or less what this Special Ops challenge is. It's called, coincidentally, No Idea What I'm Doing. Kill 100 enemies using the Hailstorm with an Optic, a Kimbo, and Quick Draw attached. And this, my friends, is why no one discovered it. Who the hell would put a Kimbo, Optic, and Quick Draw on quite possibly the worst pistol in Infinite Warfare? That's what the Hailstorm is, by the way, a pistol. Chances are you've never even used it since it's unlocked way late at level 48. So let's jump right into the tactics. Like I said, this pistol is garbage. Straight up, terrible. To make matters worse, we have to grind a bit to even get to attempting the challenge. You need the akimbo attachment, which is unlocked at weapon level 11. Now I consider myself a pretty skilled player, but using this wank on the cob pistol, it still took me about 8-10 to 10 games of me getting 20 kills per match to get to weapon level 11. I'd advise you to check if you have any Hailstorm weapon variants, such as the Vertex in the Tracer. These are pretty decent and they're both rare drops. My ideal class setup for grinding to the Akimbo attachment included Ghost and Dexterity in Perk 1, Scavenger in Perk 2, and Gung Ho in Perk 3. To begin with, you'll likely have no attachments, so you can double up perks in each category. For a payload, you can use the Phase Shift or the Reactive Armor. Both of these were extremely helpful. As I mentioned, this pistol is terrible. Did I mention it's also a three round burst? The description says it has a triple chamber stack for rapid three round bursts, <laughs> but that couldn't be farther from the truth. The burst delay on this is slow as shit. If you see two enemies, you may as well kiss your ass goodbye. You'd have better luck picking up a turd by its clean end than killing both of them. And once again, to make matters worse, it only has 12 bullets. Considering that it takes two bursts typically to kill one person, you'll be reloading constantly. Luckily, the first few attachments come quickly. I highly advise you to put on Quick Draw, Rifled Barrel, and Hollow Point. This at least makes the gun a bit better. Now I myself wanted to get the Akimbo attachment as fast as possible, and to do this, I needed more kills. This weapon just doesn't cut it in core mode. 
With that said, I highly recommend you go into Hardcore. In this mode, this horrific pistol becomes at least somewhat manageable. It's essentially a one-shot kill even to incredibly long distances. And with Quick Draw, you can snap onto people faster than most other weapons in the game. When playing Hardcore, you'll definitely want the reactive armor payload. You can get lots of good streaks while this is active. And don't be afraid to hip fire this thing as well. You tend to get a lot of surprising kills in Hardcore. Eventually, after a few matches of grinding, you should find yourself finally at weapon level 11, which will give you the akimbo attachment. Now here's where the class setup must be specific. This challenge requires very particular attachments. You must abide by these or the 100 kills won't count. So you need the akimbo attachment, the quick draw attachment, and any of the three optic sites. I went with the reflex site, so I at least know for certain that this one works. When it comes to perks, you'll definitely want to stick with gung ho as you'll be hip firing at all times. Scavenger and Dexterity are also absolutely necessary due to reloading and lack of ammo issues. Now everything else is up to you. One thing to note here, since you can't put a laser attachment on your build, if you have the Vertex variant that I mentioned earlier, it comes with a built-in laser sight in the Steady Weapon perk. Definitely use this if you have it. Now remember, we only need 100 kills. One way or another, everyone will eventually succeed with this challenge. However, allow me to help you with some tactics to make it less painful. Since we can only hip fire these weapons now, our range is obviously terrible. So while Hardcore was well suited for the single weapon, the Akimbled Hailstorm pistols do not fare well in this mode at all. Of course, once in a while you can still get some incredibly far shots to connect, but not often at all. The reactive armor payload will still allow you to pick up quite a few kills, but the horrific accuracy the Akimbo attachment results in is not good for Hardcore. The more appropriate tactics are actually exactly as I advised in my Call of Duty Ghost Challenge Guide. Treat these weapons as you would a shotgun. Play cautiously and stick to close quarters combat situations. That's where these things excel at. If you thought reactive armor did wonders in hardcore mode, it's even more impressive in core. Activate it and rush to engage as many enemies as you can. In closer quarters, the power of the hailstorm pistols becomes readily apparent. Again, don't be afraid to use the corners to your advantage. Now I'm not saying to camp your dick off by any means, but pausing momentarily to see if a newbie booby comes barreling around a corner for easy pickings is ideal. So while team based game modes are decent, free for all is where it's at. There's no one to gank your kills and you can potentially get up to 30 kills in a single match, provided you win of course. There's a lot of close quarters combat situations in free for all, and if you get a small map, such as Frontier or Genesis, you're in business. While reactive armor is ideal in team based games, in free for all you can feel free to use phase shift. Since you'll constantly be running into enemies at every turn, sometimes it's nice to three dimensionally disappear and take a breather. So basically, you'll want to find constantly traversed areas that offer barrel stuffing conditions. Very few weapons can compete in such tight corridors with the power of a Kimbo. I often found myself going on bigger streaks than I could even achieve with my favorite weapons. Mostly due to the fact that playing cautious is key to success here. When I use my weapon of choice, I'm rushing around like a headless chicken. So take your time, play to the strengths of these dual wielded pistols, and you should be well on your way to 100 kills in just a few games. And that's all there is to it. The reason this challenge was so well hidden is because it's something no one should ever consider doing. Mismatching attachments that are meaningless, such as the akimbo, quick draw, and an optic sight is absurd. But that's what makes this challenge so unique. It may seem like a joke, but it's actually a test to see how skilled of a player you actually are. If you can overcome the bizarre nature of this challenge, you may just find that your overall skill at the game has increased because of it. There's nothing sweeter than being awarded a special ops challenge complete notification out of the blue. And with that, I now have all 12 Special Ops challenges complete. You may have also noticed the Special Ops Master notification appear when I completed this challenge. I don't want to spoil the fun just yet though, so stay tuned as my next video will be revealing the first glimpse at the Special Ops Master Calling Card.
guys on my team, Daddy. The good, oh. the good guys are on your team? Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Do you like this game? Yeah. Do you sometimes play with Dad? Where are you throwing that C4 there, bro? Uh. Blow it! Oh. Let's, uh, let me check your score. Hold on. Uh, push the middle button real quick. Thirty. I don't know if you can see that, but you're th you got thirty-two kills. Yeah. What? I honestly have not played at all. This is all him. All right, Jack. I'm recording you. Okay. What is that thing you're using? The creepy. Cardi? The creepy. <laughs> He's actually not bad. Get him. Oh, these these of course are bots. Uh, I did let him play online one time. Ow. He didn't fare as well as he's doing now. But as you can see, he makes some interesting class loadouts. And it wouldn't surprise me if he had stumbled upon this challenge himself. Right, Jack? Yeah. I love you. Uh, what? Why did you do that? You blew, what you? you blew yourself. And by the way, if you weren't aware, I do play in the closet. This is my setup. I've done a few videos. You can see my scuff controller, the blue one, my headset there. He's got a blanket. My buddy sent me the cinch. Oh, it's plugged in. Sorry, Z-Man. Awesome. All right. Say bye, Jack. Bye.